Also, I've been seeing a lot of you guys' DMs um, about my sickness. Uh, it was just a small cold, so it was nothing serious at all. But I do appreciate you guys for looking after me. So to to everyone who DM'd me about it, thank you. I am feeling a lot better and I'm glad it was a fast recovery from the sickness as well because because I wanted to get back into uh, into into working the album is almost complete uh, there's just a few more small touches I need to make on the album but other than that uh, Wow, this album, man, is it's so special to me. And I know that it's so special to all of us here at NSB as well. A lot of emotional emotion into these songs, but it, it's also a lot of fun we put into these songs as well. The pod space looks good for lives. It's, it's cool. It's... It's small, but I think it works out really well. If it's me, it's not bad. I know, I'm so excited to see you guys on tour. I've been telling everyone, you won't even believe me, but I've been telling everyone that I've never been so excited in my life for anything in my life. Going to 19 cities, guys. 19 cities all throughout June. Wow, I, we're doing um, an LCD screen. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to even tell you, tell you this because maybe it was a surprise. I'm not sure, but I fought so hard to get this on tour. We're getting an LCD screen. It's like 18 feet wide and 15 feet tall. If I if I know the numbers correctly. And I could talk about this tour forever. We have, um, we have a much bigger team working with us on this tour. We're getting two tour buses. Um, I'm so excited. We're, we're performing more songs on the set list. I don't know if you guys saw my tweets. I'm sure you guys did though. I tweeted out, what songs do we have to perform on the, on the tour? And I was kind of surprised with your guys' feedback. I saw a lot of miseries. I, I did expect to see a lot of misery responses asking that question. But then, you know, a couple other responses surprised me. What's up? You guys you guys love what's up. Uh, obviously, Kissing Booth and Jet Black is going to be performed on tour. That's like, without a doubt. Can't wait to see you on tour. I know. I'm so excited to see you and give you the biggest hug in the world. And plus the after party is gonna be so much fun. I, I even heard that manager Ty is updating his playlist for the after party. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I hope he still plays the uh, the party in the USA's though. Those those songs, pretty fire, and we always get so lit and we have so much fun during those. See you at nine stops. Oh my goodness! When you first told me that, I thought you were lying to me. I still don't even believe you, and I'm gonna be counting in my head how many times I see you. Guys, Vig told me that she's coming to nine shows. Nine shows. That is, that's, that's half of the tour. At this point, you could probably just like hop on the tour bus with us. I'm joking. Don't hold me to it. I would love for that to happen, but I'm probably going to get in trouble for manager to tie. Oh, also, by the way, there's no, there's no age limit. So... Anyone can enjoy the after party, the performance, the uh, the meet and greets, 
Even uh, the kissing booth as well. I'm so excited for the kissing booth. Oh my goodness. I have such a cool outfit that I'm going to be wearing specifically for my kissing booth add-ons. So if you got me for your kissing booth add-on, I put my pinky on that. We're about to take the best photos. You and me. So pretty much kissing booth. Not, not to explain too much about it, but we're going to be like going into the kissing booth the one that you guys know and love from kissing booth and we're gonna be taking a photo um not gonna lie i think that this idea is inspired by me being on stage with maje i know you guys know that was a crazy night in atlanta atlanta's almost sold out by the way so if you're from atlanta if you're near atlanta go get your ticket i know we're we're a month away and Atlanta's already sold out, almost sold out, almost sold out. So if you want to come see us in our Atlanta show, you got to be, you got to be fast with it, man. Cause I want to see you. I want to see you more than ever. My birthday was two days ago. Oh, hi, birthday's here. But yeah, I'm, I'm so excited for tour. And there's a lot of like really cool things happening recently as well. LOL just bought your kissing booth. Let's go. We're about to take the best photo. Best photo. And I'm going to... I know we don't have, like, all the time in the world when we're taking this kissing booth photo together. But, you know, I'm going to, like, stall as much as possible, okay? Because I got you. You know, even, even if, like, people are trying to, like, speed it up, I'm going to talk very slowly so that you and i can have as much time together when we're in the kissing booth together that's that's what i want to do for you because because I, I i i enjoy spending my time with you guys trust i'm going all out since this is my last tour hopping cap cap see you in dc mm, we're going to uh, blow the roof off of DC's show. You heard me? You're going with your family and your boyfriend? Oh, that's fire. Tell them that I'm excited to see them. Do you know if it will be before the meet and greet or after? The kissing booth will be right after the meeting green so we're gonna see each other like technically two times because we're gonna see each other during the meeting greet we're gonna get our photos and then if you got me for your kissing booth i'm just going to go backstage really quick change into the best outfit for the kissing booth i'm gonna look so spiffy you don't even understand and then uh then we're gonna be hopping into the kissing booth and we're gonna be taking a photo together and you know what I'm saying? Any specific colors we should wear? Wear your best outfits. I want you to look amazing and I want you to feel amazing. I want you to feel so confident and I want you to feel like a bazillion dollars. I don't even know if bazillion is a word. A, a billion dollars. How about that? I want you to feel like a billion dollars. Because I'm going to be wearing some cool outfits too. So I want to like take some really cool photos with you and all. See the guys come back to Florida. I know guys. I, I want to go back to Florida. But I, I can't lie to you. It was, it was either Florida or Arizona. And even though Florida is my home state, we went to Florida our first tour. <clears throat> and we have not been to Arizona yet. So it was a very hard decision to make. But uh, please believe me when I say that I love Florida and I want to perform for you guys in Florida again. It's just let me slay my dragon at in Arizona first, okay? I have never performed in Arizona before. And Arizona tickets are flying off the shelf as well. So 
if you're from Arizona, make sure you go get your ticket fast at Arizona before it's too late. I don't want you guys to miss out on that. Who's going to the Ohio one? You know what I like when you guys do? I like when you uh, put together like your guys' group chats. I know there's a Texas stars, the Florida stars, the California stars. I like when you guys like, you know, create these group chats to expand the community around you. That's what I really like to see. When you guys spread the word of NSB and you share our music. Oh, that's the best feeling, man. That's really the best. Will we have a chance to take a photo with you? Of course. Of course. I can't wait for another unforgettable experience. I cannot wait to. It's going to be so much fun. And is there an age limit? No, there's no age limit. <clears throat> so you know, everyone's welcome to all of our shows you have so much fun on, on tour I'm gonna miss you I'm gonna miss you so much Maje. I was just I was just mentioning your name I want to do anything I possibly can to see you I, I know that it's just a little a little difficult with your schedule, I know, but I just want you to know how badly I'm going to miss you if you don't go. Man, is there a group chat for Ohio Stars? I'm not too sure, but if there's not, maybe you should be the first one to start it. First time going, I'm so nervous. Nah, don't be nervous, don't be nervous. It's gonna be fun. And and you don't have to like, you don't have to stress too much, okay? Cause, you know, it's it's nothing too crazy. It's, it's, I just don't want you guys to be nervous and, you know, miss out on anything. I want you guys to feel free and Beautiful, because that's what you are. And I want to dance with you as well during the after party. Oh yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. Post four screenshots. Oh, what's that? Did you guys see that too? You guys see the balloons? Wait, wait if I do this, do, do the balloons happen? Oh! Are, are you guys seeing that? Please tell me you see that. I'm too old, but I enjoy your music. Huh? No, you're not too old. Come on. I appreciate you for saying you enjoy our music, though. Um, that's a really good compliment. I, I, uh, that's one of my favorite compliments, to be honest, because I spent a lot of time working on music. But don't feel too old. Come on. I think old is... Feeling old is, you know, more so your mentality. You can have a young spirit and i want to dance with you and i want to have a great time with you so nothing should stop you from coming to see us and i hope there's nothing that stops you jet black is so good oh, jet black is good shout out to gloria i know a lot of you guys saw the music video Gloria's music video. We were in it. We were playing basketball. Shout out Gloria. She produced Jet Black and another song on the the album that you will hear soon. And she's very, very talented. It was a pleasure to work with her on, uh, on this song.
What is my favorite NSB song? Um, maybe Misery. Maybe Misery because of how personal that is. And uh, I'm going to say my answer for only the songs that are released, not for the songs that are unreleased. Because maybe my new favorite song, my favorite unreleased song would be Sidia, which is a song in the album. I know our album's called Sidia, but there's a track in the album called Sidia. <clears throat> I think right now that's that's gotta be my favorite because of the meaning behind it and like I said, this album is is very close to to my heart. And I cannot lie to you, I, I've been kind of going through this recently and I, I this is a new feeling for me so I don't really know how to express it or even explain it or feel about it. But, you know, I, I didn't want to drop that song, Sidia, because it's, uh, I, I thought that it was too emotional, and it's kind of sad, and I didn't think that it fit the album, but, you know, I think when things in life is very happy, you know, you could feel very happy in your life right now that you could actually feel sad. Now, don't think I'm crazy or anything because let me explain. When, when you're loving life so much, I, I sometimes feel sad because at one point, this has to end, right? Right? Does that make sense to you? How, how long can the best moments in life last? So, you know, maybe that's why I've been feeling very grateful for everything. And if you have me on Snapchat, then I, I know I talked about it on Snapchat quite a bit. And twitter you can hear more of my really personal thoughts on twitter as well or x but uh recently i've been feeling so grateful for life and and not per usual you know me if you know me in real life or if you've been following me for a while you would know that generally i'm a very very happy person but recently i've been so grateful for the small things in life <clears throat> Hmm. But maybe it's because right now I feel very blessed that I don't want to, I don't want this to end. And there's a, there's something in my brain that tells me that this has to end at one point, right? And... I've been holding on to this lovey feeling from NSB, from you guys. I'm trying to hold on to this for as long as possible and I never want to let go. Because, you know, I, I, I don't go live as much, but I do want you to know that you do mean the world to me. And it just said Kane just joined me watching this and he's right there. But yeah, I never want you to leave me. And I just been feeling very happy that you are here and we're able to go on our third tour because of you. When I step back and sit down and think and process what everything that's going on we're really going on a third tour. <laughs> and uh, NSB, you guys know, we're, we're still independent. Sebastian, my brother and I, 
we founded this this company and we're able to find amazing partners and amazing people to work with this work on this project with us and ever since day one we've had one goal one goal and that is to to share an inspiration to those who want to commit to a dream as well and to to make action with their dream because that's exactly what the north sir boys means and you know it means following that end goal for yourself so if i could just if i could just inspire one person throughout all of this i will consider that worth it never in my life did i think we'd be doing three tours in two years we did two tours last year one in the summer one in the fall and if all things go right and how i'd hope then we'd be going on tour again this year and we would be doing our first ever international tour our first ever international tour wow that means we get to see the stars that have been waiting so long to see us. And that is so cool to me. I have not been to China yet. And there's so many places in the world that I want to go to and perform. And to meet you stars that are international and outside of America. So, I know. Please do an, an Asia tour. I know. I know. And we're growing so fast together as well. It's incredible. It really is incredible. And it's all thanks to you, so thank you. If you haven't gotten your tickets yet, I don't know what you're doing. The link's in our bio. Also, shout out to Yuzu. Download Yuzu. I actually be on Yuzu. So if you see me on Yuzu, don't be shy. Say what's up. Shout out to the team in Yuzu. They're, they're great people. And it's a great opportunity to work with them. I, uh, I love it. I got my ticket. Let's go. Let's go. I got my ticket. Okay. Shout out to everyone who's seeing us on tour. I'm super nervous to even go to the concert. Nah, you know, we're all very welcoming. And from what I remember on tour, you know, sometimes there's there's someone who is shy during the after party and whatnot, but all the boys and I, we, we like to make sure that everyone feels comfortable and, you know, and is having fun. So, I don't think that there will be one awkward moment. Like, I don't think so at all. I just think that we're just going to have the best time ever. And it's going to be so much fun. I got my Atlanta and after tour bus tickets. You know what's insane? The most insane part about all of this is that we might have to close off any extra tour bus step-ons and kissing booth add-ons because of how many you guys are getting it's insane you know but but the good thing is that we have where we're getting two tour buses for this tour so i i, I was talking to the boys i think it'd be kind of cool if we bring what's up reggie if we had like the two tour buses like parked next to each other and we throw a party on both the tour buses Yo, yo, this tour is going to be something else. It's going to be the best memory of my entire life. Entire life. And you don't want to miss it. Ay, ay, ay. You know what? I feel, I feel sad for everyone who's not going because of how, how excited I am. And it's going to be so much fun. And I've been practicing my, uh, my performance. I'm going to be doing things on stage that you have never seen before. 
Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That's right. That's right. I don't wanna say too much though. I don't wanna say too much. I don't wanna like spoil anything. But just know I'm excited for it. I'm excited. Many surprises to come. Oh yeah, many surprises. There's a surprise tomorrow that I think you guys are gonna love. And and more surprises coming soon as well. Aye aye aye. So don't forget to go to table before it's too late. I can't get kissing boot tickets yet, but I'm going to try and get one next month. I I hope I hope the kissing boot tickets are still gonna be available. I will try to get one sooner though, to be honest. Cause there's only a limited amount per per show. Can I get a key card? <coughs> yeah. Are you gonna get a haircut? Um, I want to, but I don't know. I want to dye my hair back blonde, and I want to cut it short. I, you know, every, every time I even talk about hair, you guys don't don't want me to go anywhere near scissors i've read it all guys i read it all especially on twitter you just see my twitter dms every day i hear from you guys you say oliver you better not even think about it and you guys are talking to each other and you guys are like we gotta make a plan to make sure oliver goes nowhere near scissors You guys are too crazy. Uh, but I'm thinking after this tour, after this tour, I'm gonna cut my hair short. And I'm talking like, sure, sure. I, I kind of want some change in my life, you know what I'm saying? And I want to dye it blonde too. Someone swallow all the scissors, what the? No, don't swallow the scissors, guys. That's terrible. Don't do that. Don't even look in the direction of scissors. <laughs> yeah, I love on you. Yeah, I do too. I just gotta like know how to take care of blonde hair. Maybe, maybe you guys can help me take care of it. Must have dyed my hair blonde. I showed my sister y'all, and now she's obsessed with y'all. Well, tell her I said hi. What's your guys' favorite song from NSB so far? Since we're about to drop an album soon, I want to know. Cause maybe your favorite song will change after we drop this album. It'll change to like a new song. I don't know. How's work in the new office? It's it's going great. The office is, is amazing. It's so it's cool here, you know. Well, I'm in I'm closer to the city. I, I went walking with the boys um, to a restaurant to grab lunch today. It was delicious. Kissing booth miracle. Jet black. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. It's a great one. Pretty boy. You guys were mentioning really good songs. Friends and Jet Black. Ooh. Friends in concert. If if you've been to a concert, you would know. You would know about Friends. But it's insane. It's insane. Wow, I'm like remembering when we performed Friends. <coughs> Excuse me. 
it uh it makes the buildings shake by the way it's absolutely crazy sunshine also but kissing booth taking the first place now let's go let's go mm -hmm. will i be seeing you this time sir i hope so that's up to you is everyone gonna sing cold war together you have to see you will have to see imagine if y'all made a remix of the lyrics combining jet black's lyrics and friends lyrics you have to see you guys are smart though wow oh also when we drop this album everything will tie together okay everything will tie together i've been planning this i've been planning this uh <clears throat> what do i call it this story since the very beginning of NSB for the past three years. And I planned this story two and a half years ago. So two and a half years ago, I put together this story and the story now ends after this album, which is insane. Oh, but yeah. It's a, it's a beautiful story though. The NSB lore. I know, I see you guys talking about it sometimes. And yes, by the way, you guys are right. This, the NSB lore, I don't know what, what to call it. That's, that's just what you guys call it. But the NSB lore, it starts with sunshine and it ends with you're my star. And what we're releasing right now is pretty much just everything that the meat and the bones of the story. So, Sunshine is chapter one of the story. You're My Star is like the last page in this book, if you will. Let's use that in this analogy, but yeah. Hopefully you guys can put together the pieces later on. But once you really look into it, when all of the puzzle pieces are out there for you, it's uh, it's a beautiful story. <coughs> when does the next album come out? May twenty. I can't get Jet Black out of my head. Jet Black is a great song. I wrote that one initially with uh, with Reggie. Wow, I write a I write a good amount of songs with Reggie. Hmm. Reggie's like always there with me in my room when we were writing music. Hop in, bang. I feel like I will love this album. I feel like you will too. I really do. And I feel like my talent with music has really grown tremendously in the past year. I feel like our music has evolved and it's continuously evolving. Why did you let Darren laugh like that at the end of Pretty Boy? As I love his laugh, that's why. This album about to make me cry and I love it. Well, you should give it a listen to when we drop it. So. All right, well, I gotta go. I, on schedule, I have a YouTube video next, so. It was very nice to talk to you and I love you and I really want to see you on tour and I want to see you and just make beautiful memories with you. How about that?